Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Building Tutorials. And today, I am going to be working on the post office once again. So, last episode, I worked back here on all of these rails. As you can see, I've got a rail system set up to where I can switch. Why is that one not switched? Uh, yeah, I think it's supposed to go like that. There we go. Now that one's going. Uh, over here, I actually found a uh, easier way of doing this. As I was looking at last episode's uh, kind of like footage, I found an easier way of setting this up. So if that activates from under there, if I were to just activate this block with uh, the, uh, the redstone torch, so if I do just like any block and then put the redstone torch here, that should be switching that instead. So that way I don't have to do this over here. The one thing is I'm going to have to make sure that's actually connecting. Let me get a minecart real quick so I can see if this works. Because when I was looking at it, I was just thinking, what if I just put a redstone torch underneath it? Why do I have to put the redstone above the ground? So this should work. Yes. Perfect. So get rid of that. I need to put... Oh, I just got rid of the block. Uh, let's get dirt here. I, I might need redstone, actually, for what I'm doing today. Uh, maybe not. Uh, we'll find out. Yeah, I'll just get rid of the minecart. We'll do that. And then over here... Is that where... The, yeah, that's where the torch is at. So last episode, what I started to do was I started to work on building the sorting system. Now, uh... I said I was going to work on that today. I, I did some stuff off camera. I have this monstrosity over here. So, th ignore these. These are from failed attempts. Uh, but this is kind of what is supposed to happen here. This is not supposed to be connected. I need to get a trap chest uh, for like these to actually connect. Because, for some reason, we're not allowed to have individual chests on... Uh, like the bedrock version of Minecraft. I know you can like usually if you like crouch and then place a chest you're allowed to like put chests next to each other but for some reason we don't have those luxuries here. So we have to use the old trick of using a trap chest because they don't connect the normal chests. So what I have supposedly set up here is a sorting system. I have not tested this. This could uh, this could go horribly wrong. But what I need to do is I need to connect up these hoppers from over here. So this is what I made last episode. Is this water... Actually, no, I didn't make this last episode. I made this two episodes ago. I made this water thing here. Which now what I need to do is I need to connect up these hoppers over here to this section. Which hopefully this machine will sort the items. I will show you here in a second how it's made. But at the moment, I need to connect up the rest of the hoppers that I haven't done. So this one right here, this chest, is going to be kind of like the random items chest. So this one doesn't have to have any redstone. But if I connect... Actually, I can do this uh, better. If I do this and then that, that should hopefully work. I did not want to break the floor. There we go. So this should now be set up. So the way this works is the items come in through here, they go through all these hoppers, and then they should, the cool thing about hoppers is apparently they can move like forwards or they can move down. So hopefully, if this works correctly, the items will move down into this area here. And then this little bit of redstone here, it's very simple. It's just a redstone torch underneath here, which deactivates these, unless there's an item that needs to go through. These, uh, oh, what are these called? Uh, the comparators. So the comparators detect if there's an item in here. If there's an item in here, then it activates this redstone, which should open up these to allow the items to go through. And there's actually not a lot here. There's just some repeaters here, some redstone, some redstone torches, and then the comparators. So now what I need to do is I need to set up these. This is what I haven't done yet. So basically what you need to do in here is you need to fill these four slots here with uh, random items that aren't going to be sorted. Like, I have random slime balls. That is not what you're supposed to do. Do not put eight slime balls in a slot. That is exactly what you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to put one in each. 
So you put one of each item in here of an item that's not going to get sorted at all. So in this case, slime poles should not be going through the mail. So we're not going to have to worry about that. So the next thing I need to do is I need to put slime balls in here as well. Since we shouldn't be getting slime balls. Now in this first slot here is supposedly the item that's supposed to get sorted. So in this case, we're going to be sorting letters and packages. Now the items I'm going to use for those is probably going to be paper. If I can find where paper's at. Here it is. Oh, there's also books. Or I could do book and quill. Actually, can you stack? No, you cannot stack a book and quill. So we can't use those. Uh, I'm going to use paper. I think paper might be the easiest. And then any other item, if it works correctly, should go in this chest over here. Assuming that it's not paper and it's not, uh, well, what I need to do for box. I'm thinking about possibly just doing wood. I, I think wood would probably be the best for a box. But I want to see what other items we've got in here that looks like it could be a possible box. But I was thinking of just doing just oak wood. So let's go all the way up to the top, grab a stack of wood. Now, uh, what we have to do is we got to figure out which one goes where. So I'm going to do the first one is paper. Okay, good. It's going through. That's what it should do. And then we'll put wood in there. And it should go in the here. Yes, it is doing it. What's wrong with my, uh, my wood? Where, where's the wood getting stuck at? Uh, oh, wait. I forgot. Yeah, it's supposed to stop here. It's not all supposed to go in. There's supposed to be one item left in each of these. Let me make sure there's one item in here. Yes, there's one item in there. Which means there should be 41 left in there. Perfect. That is exactly what it's supposed to do. So, so far, it is working. Okay, so it should be set up now. I am going to kind of like enclose this here in a second after I know it works. So let's run through how this is supposed to work here. So you come over here at the start. What are, hey, hey, you want to, you have a package to deliver? We got our first customer. Um, you're kind of being attacked by your own llamas, but would you like to come over here to the station one? Do you have anything you would like us to uh, ship off to the villagers? Got any mail? I don't think he's really here for mail, but we'll use him as an example. So let's say the wandering trader here has this letter. He has this letter that he has to get to someone in the village. So he'll take his letter and he's also got a package. He's got a package as well that goes with the letter. So he's got his package and he's got his letter. So we take that and we bring it back here to our check-in area. Over here, we check in our paper or not our paper, our letter and our package. So there's our letter and our package and then what we do is we throw them in the water throw them in here they should go up which they are perfect and then as soon as they get to the top the package is going to go into the hopper i don't know why they slowed down right at the end but we should see any second now uh i don't know if they, that's going to change or not back there but there should be yep one letter and one package now let's say Let's say the wandering trader also wanted to like give us, uh, let, let's say this redstone torch. He really wanted to ship this redstone torch. Where'd it go? Okay, never mind. He's shipping redstone because the redstone torch disappeared. So he really wants to send this redstone somewhere. So we're gonna throw, you know, throw uh, two pieces of redstone in there. So if we throw two pieces of redstone into the water here, it should go into the third chest. And because it's a hopper system, it does work pretty quick. So if I just like stand here, it should go in here. Yes, there we go. It works. Okay, so this is the sorting system built. It's really easy. So basically, these go straight through here. And then they either go straight or they go down if it's wood or if it's paper. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and block this in. Now that I know it works, I don't really know if I should fill in that block or not i was gonna put blocks there but i don't want it to mess up anything it's working good enough which is nice you definitely don't want to put blocks there i know that because that'll disconnect that so if i just like block up the rest of this i should be able to put blocks over here and then over on this side we'll just build up here uh should i put torch in there 
I don't think I don't think mobs can spawn on top of redstone, so that should be fine. So if I just enclose that there, there we go. You can kind of see the comparators there, which is fine. Let me change this. This shouldn't change anything, but if I just do this down here and then I put a hopper here. That should go into this chest now. And I can actually cover this entire thing with iron. And then if I just do one more block on this side, I can build up a side here. And then if I just build on top of these, that should work. I am putting like two layers of iron. I really shouldn't be doing this, but because it's creative, I can kind of just like build over it. In survival, I wouldn't leave an extra block of iron back there because iron's fairly expensive but if i just like cover that there we go this is oh wait they're not gonna open are they great so to fix that i need a stair because stairs work uh should i use quartz yeah, i'm gonna use smooth quartz it's probably the easiest so if i put some smooth quartz right here now they open there we go i could also put oh we don't have iron slabs i was gonna put iron slabs but we don't have those so, quartz is probably the next closest thing to a white block. So now, we have our three chests of items. Wait, did I forget to take these out, or did they just randomly give me items? Those shouldn't be in there. I think, uh, I think these are the items that I threw in there. I hope that's what they are, and they're not just, like, random items. But that's the, uh, that's the sorting system there. So then, after the mail comes out of here and goes into these chests... We now need to send them off into the minecarts. Now, I had an idea for how I'm going to set the minecarts. So, I'm going to have to redo these doors. But my idea for this is that if I put a hopper, like, right here, and then cover this with an iron block, this actually will save having the problem with, like, the double door. But my idea was if we put the minecart, I need to get the trucks back. So we're going to go ahead and get our mail truck here, and we're going to put it right here. So supposedly, I don't have any letters. Oh, well. We'll just say they're shipping stairs. So if the stair would actually go inside, oh, great. Go inside, really? Go inside the hopper. There we go. So if we we're delivering stairs, it should show up in here. Perfect. So then after that goes, we can push the mine cart, and it goes off. On its journey to wherever it needs to go to deliver the stairs and then if it's gonna come back let's see if I can get it to go over here onto the side here there we go if it's gonna come back it's gonna go down here and it should flip this since I fixed this earlier there we go and it's going back isn't it great no not the way you're supposed to go so that's basically how this loading system is going to work and then that'll save, like, the redstone underneath here. So I had all this redstone, which I'm just going to leave it. It doesn't matter. We just know for the rest of these, we don't need double doors. So where's all the all the tracks are kind of there. So if I just do... Wait, why am I breaking those doors? Those are the doors that are supposed to stay. This door is the one that's supposed to get removed. And then I put this here, this here... Actually, I could just leave it like that. And then we just throw the items in there. I kind of want to, like, throw them in, like, from the top. So if I were to build, like, a little stair here. Actually, let me get actual stairs. If I were to get, like, some polished andesite, I think this one is. If I do, it needs to be, I think, like, right about here. If I do some stairs, we can throw all the mail in there. And then I need to get a door... Do I have an iron door? No, I'm going to have to get my own door there. And then here is where the hoppers are going to go. So we're going to put a hopper here. I'm going to need to get these stairs back. So if I do stairs here, I'm going to have to get an andesite block to put down. And then let's get rid of rails. Put iron there. Iron goes there. And then I need to get a lever for here and here. So I can open up the door. So the door opens there. I can put my hoppers like that. I can put the stairs. Should I put the stairs on this side? Yeah, I think that will make sense. So if I do stair here and then here, 
and then do the same thing on this side. I put stairs there. Now I just have to get a, a block to put underneath those. So there we go. So I just put andesite blocks underneath all the stairs. So it should work now. So you can climb up here, drop all the mail in there. You have a door here so you can access the outside if you need it. They all should have stairs. They all should have doors. They all should have trucks. Let me get mail trucks for all of these. So there should be three mail trucks on all these stations. Perfect. And this has nothing in it. Okay, took the items out of there. So now we have our system for getting the mail into the trucks. And now I have the doors set up. I've got the sorting system set up. So the next thing I need to do is figure out the tracks. So that's what I'm going to do next episode is set up those. And then is that this done? It might be done. I still have to do the lights, which is the monstrosity on the roof. But I don't think I'm really going to mess with that. That was kind of like a, a failed experiment. Uh, so, I think what I'm going to do next is probably set up a path there, because I don't have a path yet. And then, have to, I have to set up, like, roads throughout the entire village, and then I think it should be done. So, I'm going to go and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody!